Hi, Jerry. Very nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet when you, did the Lucy. man with the golden guts realise that this was a story worth telling and in 3D? Well, I think when, the, when Hoyt Yeatman pitched the idea to me and he showed me the characters and did a little short uh, minute uh, presentation that I loved. And the 3D came about much later. I think we were well into the process when we decided it would be fun to do it in 3D. Since the characters are, are digitally you know, recreated, uh, you can do a lot more with 3D. So we didn't shoot it in 3D. We did added the 3D later. Yeah, I heard that. I mean, it was actually James Cameron I, I read that got you on to sold you the I idea of 3D initially. He did. He, he yeah. did a demonstration for us of what he, he was doing. But he shot his, he's shooting his in 3D. We didn't we didn't do that. We, we shot ours in 2D. But it's much easier when you have these animated characters that can, can add to 3D later. And what challenges did you actually face, or combining the live action and obviously the 3D animation? Well, you're shooting two movies, so that's mm -hmm. much more difficult. You shoot the live action first, then you add the characters. 3D and so it's a long process. They start with storyboards, the little guys, and then you, you progress to uh, something without the fur, then you get finally get the fur, and then it kind of evolves. And what's the, the best, the highlight, 3D highlight of the film for you? I think the Mooch, our little fly, when he buzzes around, I think that's great. And, and the snake is a fun, it's a fun snake thing. Snake was terrifying. Yeah, it was <laughs> Absolutely fun. terrifying, but also fun. really, really awesome. I mean, are you actually sort of tempted now, now you've tried 3D? to actually do all your films in 3D? Like, for example, maybe a Pirates film Well, I, you know, it depends on the movie. You know, that's, it's, you know, it's, you're not going to see every film made in 3D, but you're going to see a lot more. Mm. And you sent the script over to Nicolas Cage, and he chose to play the mole. Were right. you surprised at that? And did he run any of his voices by you, first he of all? He did. He did. When I told him about all the characters, he, he picked Speckles, a little mole, and he did the voice right away. He said, I like to do it like this. I don't want to use my own voice. I said, great. That's why you hire Nicolas Cage. You saw the Venom creative and comes up with unique ideas, and in this case, a unique voice. Mm, yeah, very unique. Wouldn't even have known it was him. Right. <laughs> Not that. Um, obviously, this will go on to DVD. Yes. So how do you see that the future of 3D for the sort of home entertainment market? I mean, how Cer will it look? It's certainly coming. It's going to happen. I, you know, I've seen some of the uh, video games that they're doing in 3D, and uh, you know, it, it, we're going to get there pretty soon. I mean, look how long it took to get flat screen TVs. Uh, and digital digital mm. television, so it, it'll Not get there. Time. I think they already have it in Japan. Fantastic! It's very exciting yeah. stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Thanks nice very much for talking to me. Thanks for coming. Thank Pleasure. You.